keep up to date with our latest videos, please hit the subscribe button below. Hi there, this is Chris from RacingBetData.com. Uh, quick video today, just because we're getting so many inquiries about the popularity of the slicer function that we've added in uh, to our standalone download files. People are asking how they can use that with our um, main database, um, which can be accessed through the data dashboard. So what I'm gonna do is take you through very simply um, how you can use and build slicers into your output. Um, and this isn't gonna be a video that's gonna show you how you can uh, create a profitable system using them. What I'm showing you is how you can manipulate the data and use slicers. So it's a bit more of an Excel tutorial rather than anything else. Uh, but useful nonetheless, so um, I'm going to take you through it. Um, I've navigated to the data dashboard here um, and I'm logged in. So I'm just going to do some random data selection here. And what I'm going to do for the purpose of the video is export all, uh, all weather tracks uh, only. I'm not going to filter on anything else um, apart from the, uh, the year. So I'm just going to select all, all weather races uh, from... 2021 year to date um, and send that to Excel. Now, once that's downloaded into Excel, we have the data as we always do in its usual format um, displayed into our Excel um, output and we can create the slicers. So what we wanna do is open up a separate tab. Now the reason, just to explain the difference quickly between the, the pre-race download and the results and odds for those are standalone Excel files. So they're already got that slicer built into them and they can be downloaded and used using the archive. You can download those and they already have the slicer capability. What we're doing here is we're exporting direct from a, from a database. So it's a web query, which is converted into an Excel file. So that's why uh, we, we, we can embed the slicer functionality into this. Um, spreadsheet and not everybody wants to use it. Not everybody has the latest version of Excel. Um, so they're not able to use it um, because this will only work on versions of 2013 and later. So it would also add to the download time um, and speed. So this is why I'm doing this tutorial because it's very easy to do, very easy to set up and you can manipulate how to suit. If we were to put in a specific um, set of criteria or output, it may not suit everybody. So the best way is for you to, to utilize this and tune it to your uh, requirements and needs. And once you have the output here, you could just do a simple uh, separate download and paste into the um, output here and then update your pivot table, which we're gonna create now. So you could you only have to do this once really, um, very useful tool. So first of all, we need to go to insert at the top um, and we wanna insert a pivot table and it's gonna ask us for the data range. And we just wanna select each one of these columns in the output from A right through to AI and click OK. And that's created our pivot table um, report out, which at the moment we don't have any criteria for. Now you can utilize and um, get some more experience on pivot tables by using videos specifically for this uh, on the internet or using tutorials but I'm just gonna build a very simple um, one for the purpose of this output. Um, and we're only really gonna use the, the rows and values uh, columns. We don't really need to use filters because that's what the slicers do. So the slicers act as filters. So we don't really need to add those to, um, to this output and we're not gonna use the column function either. Um, we're just gonna keep it a simple table. Uh, and we're gonna put the date um, and you can select any, any of these items you want. Um, let's select the going in there, the race type. Um, I'm not going to select too much. Let's put the horse name in there. And let's also get in there the industry SP. Actually, we can put the industry SP and the Betfair SP in here as values, as well as the, um, the results. So SP win, each way win, and Betfair win return. Now these have defaulted as counts. I just need to click this little arrow, uh, change the value field from count to sum on each one of these. Now I've condensed down my window, so these are quite it's quite tight for space in here. So your format and layout may, may, look, may look different to mine. I'm trying to get it all in for the for the video demonstration. Uh, and one final one, sum 
And what I'm also going to do is add in the place to the data output as well. OK, so we have the rows and we have the values. Now we just need to manipulate the table to make it a bit neater and tidier, for my personal opinion. So I'm going to change report layout to uh, tabular. And I'm going to select repeat all item, or all item labels. Again, you don't have to do any of this. This is just how I like to have the table displayed. And I'm going to take off all the subtotals for each of these columns because they're not really necessary for, for what we're trying to display here. I'm going to un take off all these subtotals. OK, and we've built a simple pivot table there. Now what we can do is change uh, the formats of um, the win returns to monetary value. Again, just for display purposes, nothing else. Change those to currency. So you can see there we've built a simple table of output for all the races at the moment. Nothing has been filtered. We've just selected what we want to see. And you can add and include and take out whatever you want. Now, the slicer functionality, as I said, touched on a minute ago, is it's basically a filter mechanism. Um, it allows you to slice and dice the report output to suit. Um, and we're going to add one in just as soon as my sheet finishes calculating. There we go. We're going to add those in on the side here. Now, how to add a slicer, as I said before as well, you need to be running Excel 2013 or later. So versions of 16, 19, so on will all have this. And the newer the Excel version, the more features and function you'll have, because you can also add in the um, the timeline uh, functionality, which will allow you to filter by dates as a range. Um, but we're just going to look at the slices here. So I'm going to in insert a slicer and I'm going to insert a slicer on the pace um, and also the class and also the number of runners in the race. So you don't have to have the same filter controls as you have the output. So we haven't got runners, for instance, as one of the output. You could put runners in as a, a, an output and also as a filter. Um, but these are the controls that we're going to use to, to output our data. So simply click OK there. And that displays these three little boxes um, that you can resize, you can recolor, you can move where you want. Um, and that will generate um, your, your control mechanisms. So you can filter on the num number of runners in the race, number of uh, the pace and the class. So let's select pace. So let's select all runners with a pace rating of nine. Now, if you want to select multiple, you can hold the control key and click 10. So we're looking at the fastest um, and you can clear that using the um, the box, simple box up to the right hand side, top right hand side there as well. OK, so we're going to select all runners with a pace rating of um, nine or 10. And let's select fields size where there was at least 12 runners in the race. And then if we filter by class, let's just look at um, class five and class six. So what that's done is now filter the output based on the criteria that we've selected using these slicers. Um, and if you scroll to the bottom there, you'll see the, the total profit and loss. In fact, what I'm going to do is just um, freeze the top row. So if I scroll down, you'll still see the headers. So it's generated 45 um, lines of output um, and it's given us the profitability. So backing um, horse of the pace racing of nine or 10 uh, in a field of 12 or greater where the class of the race is five or six. And remember, we already did the filter on the dashboard. So we filtered for um, all weather tracks only and for 2021, that gives you um, a, profit, a profit output excluding commission on, on Betfair of £127 uh, and one pence to a £10 stake and backing industry SP a £30 profit to a £10 stake and a small loss if you're backing the each way. So that's how you build a very simple slicer um, and pivot table. This wasn't designed to be a profitable selection or system. I've just use that at random and as you can see it's, it's generated uh, in the black and, and also in the red for the each way win, win return but it's intended to be a very simple video to show you how you can use your data set and 
embed some slice of functionality and um, control mechanisms to look at your data in a, a quicker, more effective way. And you can uh, then download 2020's data if you wanted to do the same and tag that onto the bottom and simply going back to this um, pivot table and sele selecting refresh would then pull through the new lines of data that you've added at the bottom. You just need to make sure that you're obviously aligning them the same way, you're not pasting them out of sequence. The outputs from our database will be in exactly the same format every time. So you haven't got to worry about the format changing. You just need to paste to the bottom of the data at the, um, the content that we've already outputted. And you could keep topping that up and you could do it on a monthly basis, however often you wanted. And then a quick refresh um, and you'd get your you'd get your data output. From there, you can then start looking, you can build in, um, let's say you wanted to quickly analyze if your rows were a lot longer, uh, there's a lot more output in your in your data, you can just reference that cell. And there you go, you have that at the top, and no matter what you did, you can select here, and that would change accordingly. Um, so there you go, very quick tutorial, but hopefully to the point, and help some of you who've been struggling with embedding filters and slices into our data dashboard exports.